What is up, survivors? For today is 101, we're going to be talking about how to make beer in Arc. A pretty simple concept, right? So basically, you're going to be using this uh, primarily to tame Calicotheriums. Calicotheriums really like the beer to be able to drink that to tame it. Don't know how that happened, but it did happen. Why a wild animal has a taste for beer is a little concerning to me, but that's beside the point. You can also drink beer. It'll give you a couple of resistance to damage as well as improving your insulation, but at the risk of draining your stamina and your water. And yeah, so there's definitely some negative side effects, but pretty much you're taming this. You're taming this. You're pretty much making beer to either do something in like an RP sort of setting or you're using it to tame calicotheriums. Now to create the beer, there's a couple of different ways to do this, but you're going to need some key ingredients. First and foremost, you're going to need to bake beer barrels. Barrels are made unlocked at level 36. You're going to need cementy paste, metal, and wood to make them, and they are crafted at a smithy. You're also going to need irrigation pipes. You're going to need thatch. You're going to need berries. You're going to need water jars. Water jars, not canteens or, or water skins. You're going to need water jars. I have two different examples here. One, these three right here are irrigated, and this is how I irrigated it. Basically, I laid down some intersecting pipe and then went out here and put the intake into the water so that it is an irrigated pipe and then the beer barrels just snap to the points on the pipes so that they're fully irrigated all the time every time and i don't have to worry about filling them up with water ever again now once these are in place you're going to grab them open them up and you're going to throw berries and thatch inside of them so basically 50 berries and uh 40 thatch over six hours with default settings will make one beer if you're using single player settings and you're like using the actual single player settings option, it, I think it tunes it down to about an hour, but you're still going to have a little bit of time to waste. So if you're trying to crank out a lot of it, obviously make a bunch of these because, you know, this is three every six hours versus one every six hours. So making these in turn will be uh, will be beneficial for you. So rather than just standing here and staring at this thing for an hour, what I did is actually spawned in what you're going to see in my inventory, this beer liquid. That's what you're going to see inside of this barrel here. This liquid here is going to be showing up over here. Once that liquid's showing up over there, you take an empty water jar and you throw the water jar in here. And once you drop it in here, it will transform this water jar into the beer jar here. It doesn't have an expiration date. Note that. So you don't have to worry about storing them in refrigerators or anything like that. It just sits around forever. And they do stack. But that's pretty much how that's going to work. So you're going to need the empty water jars in order to do that. Now, let's say you're not necessarily by a water source and need to irrigate it. There are a couple different options. This is not irrigated, however, it does have water in it. Now, you can fill the water jars up, like you can just go into any water source and just hit E when you're standing in there and it'll just fill them up with water, right? Then you can go into your um, barrel and throw the water jars inside of here and just remote use them. Now you could use canteens or water flasks with this, but I would just make water jars because you're gonna use them. You're gonna use the jars to make the beer anyway, so you might as well just do these guys. It's a little bit easier. And like I said, you're going to be making them ahead of time anyway. Uh, you can hook them up for, to a reservoir tank as well, so the rainwater will eventually fill it up over time. That's an option as well. Um, obviously, this is this is significantly easier than this is, but um, this will do the same results, and it doesn't seem to require that much water, so you might not have to fill it up that much. So there's, obvious, there's obviously a couple different ways to do that, obviously. So you can do it irrigated or not irrigated, but you are going to need beer bells, you are going to need water jars, you are going to need berries, and you are going to need thatch. To open this up, you don't actually need to be used. It doesn't matter what berries you're using, by the way. I put Izzul berries in here, but the game does not care what berries it is. It doesn't even care if it's a whole, if it's like 50 complete berries, right? So I could have like 25 Amar and 25 measure berries in there and it'll still work. So just throw in berries, throw in thatch over time and just let it do its thing and it will turn into beer. Um, like I said, once that's done, throw the water jar in, you got your beer. That's pretty much it pretty quick and simple process that's it now as far as the irrigation stuff i would highly suggest you check out our how to run water lines to get a more of a feel for how to irrigate things a certain way that'll definitely help you out with um making sure that the beer barrels have a constant water source but like i said you have two different options regardless as always guys thanks for watching thanks for hanging out and i'll see you all in the next one